Imagine a quiet suburban town where nothing ever happens. Now imagine that tranquility shattered by an unimaginable act of violence. On an ordinary December day, the third of the month in 2004 to be precise, the unthinkable happened. In the heart of Jennings, Missouri, a crime of unspeakable horror was committed. Angela Rowe, a loving mother, and her three innocent children, Alexis, Acrea, and Tyrese, were found lifeless in their home. The discovery sent shockwaves through the community, a chilling reminder that even in the most serene of places, evil can lurk. The peaceful suburban life that the residents of Jennings had come to know was irrevocably tainted. The horror of that day would forever be etched in their memory. In the aftermath of this heinous act, a name would emerge from the shadows, Leonard S. Taylor. Leonard S. Taylor, Angela Rowe's live-in boyfriend, became the prime suspect in this quadruple homicide. The evidence stacked against him was compelling to say the least. A chilling trail of blood led investigators from the scene of the crime to Taylor's very doorstep. Discarded weapons, which bore a horrifying resemblance to the implements used in the murders, were found stashed away in his vehicle. Eyewitness accounts further painted a damning picture, placing him near the Rowe residence around the time of the murders. The trial was a whirlwind of accusations and denials. Taylor, consistently maintaining his innocence, was nonetheless found guilty on all counts of first-degree murder. The jury, seemingly unconvinced by his pleas, handed down a chilling verdict. Despite Taylor's claims of innocence, the jury sentenced him to death by lethal injection. An ominous end to a tale of love turned into a nightmare, a community shaken, and a justice system confronted with a horrifying crime. But this tale of crime and punishment was far from over. As the dust of the trial began to settle, Leonard S. Taylor's attorneys geared up for an uphill battle. They believed in his innocence and were determined to uncover the truth. Armed with new evidence, they challenged the prosecution's narrative, raising questions that had been overlooked in the rush to secure a conviction. Eyewitnesses who had once pointed fingers at Taylor began to waver, their testimonies riddled with inconsistencies. Unanswered questions bubbled to the surface, casting a shadow of doubt over the conviction. The attorneys presented an alternative theory, arguing that the real killer was still at large and that Taylor was just a scapegoat. The legal battle was fierce and unyielding, an intricate dance of truth and deception. Yet, as the days turned into weeks and weeks into months, the truth remained elusive. All the while, the clock ticked on relentlessly. As Taylor's execution date loomed large, the truth remained elusive. This tragic chapter in Missouri's history serves as a stark reminder of the lives lost and the justice sought. The aftermath of the Jennings quadruple homicide reverberated through the community, leaving a wound that time struggles to heal. Families, friends and neighbours were left grappling with a profound sense of loss and a haunting question. Why? In the face of such tragedy, the community rallied together, seeking solace and strength in unity. A collective resolve emerged, a resolve to pursue a better world, a world where justice is swift, but mercy and compassion are not left behind. And so, as we look back, let us remember not just the horror of the crime, but the resilience of those left behind. Let's honour their strength, their determination, and their unyielding hope for a brighter future. In memory of those we've lost, may we find strength in unity and hope in the pursuit of a better tomorrow. May peace be with you all.